This morning I was watching some wig reviews and I came across a review on toppers. It got my attention because I like toppers very, very much, especially for the summer. And the gal who was reviewing the toppers reviewed a couple of them that I have in my collection. So I thought today on Angela Silver Linings, I'll talk about toppers. I'm Angela, the creator of this channel, someone with gray hair or Angela Silver Linings. If you're new here, I want to welcome you on this channel. I review silver, gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and sometimes I talk about the care of our natural gray hair. So as I mentioned, this morning I was watching this video um, by this gal over at Coco's Hair Solutions. Share my screen with you. And we're going to give a listen just for a, a, a few moments uh, to this lady. She reviewed five different shades of this topper that I have on my head right here from Polly Young. And I just thought it would be a wonderful thing to share with you uh, since I talk about silver gray and white family. It doesn't have to just be my reviews. I like to find other wonderful wigs or toppers um, and put them in my vault, so to speak, so that you can just scroll through and you don't have to watch five million reviews. So let's just listen here uh, for a few moments and you'll see what I mean. It does still show my grow out, the grow out that I have my uh, colored hair, the part that I'm getting rid of. And that progressively gets smaller and smaller because I trim it off all the time. But this is a great color to add warmth to your own hair style. Now, she just said great to add warmth to your own hairstyle. I'm not really looking for warmth because I'm uh, my colors are in the cool family. My hair is pure white. It's as white as this as this topper. Um, but you're going to see that she if I I can't remember at this point in the video if she spins, but you can see she's really a silver gray. But if you want more warmth in your topper, uh, stay tuned. And you, you can use this. I mean, this is a great, I love this. Okay, so I can put my own natural gray behind my ears if I yeah. want to disguise it a little bit more. Or I can just leave it laying out. And it is very... It's so fun. It adds, oh, it's a perfect color for summer. Plus, the the band keeps it right exactly where I want to put it. And it's so comfortable. Uh, she has a wig grip underneath, a wig grip especially made for toppers. I did a review on that one time. I find that the wig grip does not work well for me because if you follow me, you know I'm always talking about everything slides back on my head and there's a little elastic band um, that's attached to the wig grip and that as well rides right up the back of my head. So when I wear a topper all day long, I'm going to use my It Stays right up at the front of the hairline. Let's continue. Let me turn, make a turn for you, okay? Okay, so it's adorable. you can see where the color stops or starts. There. So pretty. It's a great addition to help your healthier hair wardrobe. So that... And I love how she said it's a great addition to help your... I think she said color war or hair wardrobe. I love that because we are finding that many, many people, even if they don't need to wear a wig or need to wear a topper due to hair loss, they just want to change up their look every once in a while. Another great idea for a topper is if you if you do have abundant hair but you're due for a color, we have just pop that topper on there. And let me tell you, you can get weeks and weeks and weeks of not having to go to the salon. So and all of a sudden you get invited to something wonderful. You don't have time to go to the hair salon. You could, you could do a topper. Let's move on. That is wonderful. I mean, and you can use all different kinds of colors. So this is the blonde one. And the only other one I, I wanted to at least let you see, and you can take this off very simply. Now you see there, you can see the wig grip that she's got on. 
Uh, you can see it right in this area here. My cursor is moving up at the top of her hairline, you see. And then there's a band, an elastic band that travels all the way back behind her head. Now, if you have a really round, if, you, if you're blessed with a really round head, that's going to work for you. But for me, my head is more flat in the back. See how gray her hair is? Her, her, her hair is the way my hair was a couple of years ago. Now my hair is white, just like this, which you'll see. And, um, but she's got this silver gray. So now she's going to go for color 51, I think. Oh, let's try the, uh, let's try the salt and pepper. Oh, no, that's color 44. I always wear the, the 51 color, the six, uh, 51, the, that is, uh. We'll talk about that in a minute. Undo those snaps. Now this one, I happen to have a, a, a little clip in the very front. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And it. I'm going to do the same thing. So there's the one side, snap. There's the other side, snap. I'm going to put this. This is how I do this. Get it right in front of that. Snap that in place. And then I may try that on one of my toppers. Um, sew a little comb there because as I said they always ride back on me I don't know I can't tell if her forehead her, I think her forehead might be a little bit taller than mine my forehead is very short and so that's why I have these bangs swept back because they're not gonna they're not gonna land in the same place as this lady's and do the same thing on the back there and now I've got more salt and pepper hair which is another fun thing to do when I want to you know, have, have a change. The bangs are great. I personally like to make them kind of see-through bangs for, for me and my face shape. Yeah, so she pulled that, she pulled those, she pulled her hair all the way back, if you saw, all the way back to expose a lot of her forehead. I didn't do that because I've got a widow's peak, so it's it's really challenging for me when I put anything around the forehead area. <clears throat> but if you've got a, a, a lot of forehead or you don't have a widow's peak, you could do the same thing that she did. And my styling... Um, part on either side. You can part it on this side or this side, right or left. Um, this. And I do want to add, that is something that I didn't know. Um, when I was a new wig wearer, I always thought you had to wear it where how it came to you however the part looked i thought that that's what you had to do you know little by little you learn but yeah you could part it either side which is wonderful it also allows me to have a little bit more of a highlight underneath which looks very natural right but the color differences are wonderful i mean you've got a lot more versatility you'll find that toppers when they blend with your hair they allow you to have a lot more choices. So I'm going to make another turn for you with this. This is 44. And as she turns, I'm going to turn. And for comparison's sake, this is the Whisper Light topper. You can see it's a little bit straighter, a little shinier but still gives me lots of great coverage and the Versa Fiber in the color 51. And let's talk about shine for a minute. Um, whenever you do anything with white or silver, uh, and again, that's color, you can see that's color number 51. I have that topper right here. <clears throat> but whenever you do anything with with white or silver the light is going to bounce off of it now this one I've already treated with um, Batiste so the silver one is not as shiny as the white one I mean you can see the light bouncing off of I have an up light there that's bouncing off of the white fibers but this one I'm like she, I wear this one a lot, but I'm all white now, and so I'm finding now I'm reaching more for this one. Now, I have a bit of a tan, so I'm looking more warm in my skin tone than I normally am. I'm usually very, very pale, fair, fair, fair skin, 
but so the the white the white wig is looking I think whiter than it normally does but here's that 51 that you're seeing her talk about in the video now you see how her hair down here is kind of hanging down below the topper that's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that it just looks like you went out and you you added layers to your hair I mean obviously if it, it was really really long it might be might be might not look so great but I think it looks fine and we care for our toppers in exactly the same way we care for our wigs okay and now I want to just scoot over to what she did with styling I thought it was so great and it gives you so much versatility in styling your hair whether you like to pull it back with some breaths like this or just wearing it down tucked behind your ears which is what I have tucked behind or that a little ear. half up half down like that or pull it up to get it out of your way on a hot summer day love that or braid it down the back my favorite look at that isn't that gorgeous I have to learn how to do that that is gorgeous that alone would make me get a topper job okay. showing off that I think she just did a wonderful job reviewing Paula Young's topper. And anytime you watch a review, you always, we all learn from each other. So where do we get this topper? Well, you come right over to Paula Young, paulayoung.com. You've probably gotten magazines from them in, in the mail. I've been getting them for years. And I always threw them out. I never knew. <laughs> I never thought that I would need one and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to hair pieces right here and then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on toppers right there and then this is the one that she had on you would never know it because it, it just looks so different but the, it's called whisper light and it comes in and it's on sale for $49.99. Hey, come on, that's less than going to the hairdresser. And it comes in 51, 56, 60, which is the color that I have on right now. And I think that's all the ones in the gray family. But she did have another one on, and I can't remember which one she said it was. Um, I think she said it was number 44. Yeah, 44. She had this one here. And then she had, it might have been 101 that had bl actual blonde in it so you can find them all there and hurry limited quantity available I would believe that because a lot of times I've tried to get something especially toppers and or a fall from Tony Bratton and they're sold out so a while back I reviewed this very same topper that you see on my head here and um, there's the box and Honestly, I didn't really do I didn't really think I did a great job. So I wanted to hop back on again and talk about this topper. It's synthetic hair. It's not real hair. Look how shiny it is in in that review that I did. At that point in time, I didn't know that I could put um a powder on it, whether it's Batiste or baby powder I just didn't know I was just too new to the whole experience and so there they both are and you can look at how look at how shiny both of them are now look at the topper that you're seeing on me right now so if you wanted to go back and watch that review I'll link that for you below at this point in the video I wasn't really sure that I was going to keep both of them because my hair was more silver than it was white so I'm glad that I kept the white one um, and I think I paid even more. I think I might have paid over a hundred dollars, but now they're on they're on sale. So you can see you can knock that shine down. Now here again is the 51. So I hold it up. You can see it's not nearly as shiny. So don't let that shine bother you. The biggest challenge with a topper is just knowing how to put it on so that it looks really authentic. And you can see how the gal that we just looked at she's obviously got it down pat so when you get your topper or your wig whatever you get 
practice with it before you try to bring it out to an event or whatever. Just practice with these pieces and they really will become your friends. They are your friends. That's how I look at it. Now I do have some other videos um, that I have made in the past. You can see them right here. They're in a toppers playlist. There's that one that I just showed you. So just take your time. Take your time finding your style. Take your time finding your length. Take your time finding your color. Watch as many videos as time will allow before you part with your hard-earned money. And um, someone had written in, in my comments section, that's what really started this whole uh, topper subject today. She wanted to know if there were any curly toppers. And I can tell you, yes, there are. Uh, I believe Tony of Beverly, let me share that with you again. Tony of Beverly has some beautiful pieces. Um, I don't think they're calling them toppers per se. They're calling them pieces, which why it might be hard for you to find them. But they do have some beautiful, beautiful pieces here. Again, I will drop that link for you below. Look at that. So if you're looking for curly, if you're looking for wavy, if you're looking for anything, and Tony of Beverly is a wonderful, is a wonderful house. So that's really all that I wanted to share with you today. Uh, just kind of keep it short, concise about toppers. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Let me know if you, what toppers do you like? What brands do you like? Um, Raquel Welch has some beautiful toppers. Jean Renault has some beautiful toppers. However, Paula Young has some that I think at the price point is affordable for many, many, many people. Again, it is synthetic. It's not real hair. But there is something that's out there for you if you absolutely are just on a, if you're on a budget. And most of us are on budgets these days, I think. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening, depending upon when you saw this. I hope you stay safe. And as always, I hope that you look for the silver linings. Bye, everybody. See you next time.